Hello everyone, my name is Pratik and I work with the Zoho Sprints team. In today's webinar, I'm going to be talking about how development teams can collaborate their code changes and keep their repositories in sync with Zoho Sprints. I'm delighted to announce that Zoho Sprints now integrates with all the popular version control and source code management tools like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. Once you enable the integration, you would be able to map repositories and associate projects. You would be able to attach commits and open pull requests. And with the help of quick commands, you would be able to update the priority or status of a work item, add comments, and log hours. Let me now dive into the product to show you how to enable the integration. Once you're logged in to Zoho Sprints, head over to the setup icon on the top right corner and select the integration that you want to enable. In this case, let us select GitLab. Here, you would have to agree to the terms and privacy policy of GitLab and authorize Zoho Sprints to integrate with GitLab. One important point that I'd like to highlight is that we at Zoho are GDPR compliant. You can be rest assured while giving us the permission to enable our integration services. Before clicking authorize, make sure that you're also signed in to your GitLab account. Now let me click on authorize. And the repositories that I've hosted in GitLab are available here. They are listed under my repository. Now I would have to map them to the repository of my team. To do that, I would have to select the repository and click on this arrow to map it to my team. Once I've successfully mapped the repository, I would have to click on this plus button here to associate my projects and click on update. So I've successfully associated two projects with this repository. On the left panel, you would also be able to enable the integrations for GitHub and Bitbucket as well. Now I'll walk you through a project that I've been working on. This project is linked with my repositories in GitHub. The name of the project is eLearning Library, which is a library of education videos. I am a part of an active sprint and I have a couple of user stories that are assigned to me. When I expand a user story, I will be able to navigate to the tabs of GitHub, Bitbucket and GitLab. As you can see, I've been collaborating with my team by attaching my commits and pull requests from GitHub. I have also triggered a comment from GitHub and my colleague Andrew has reviewed my changes and shared a new requirement. So Andrew wants me to add social media buttons for sharing a given video. Hmm, looks like a piece of cake. I have the code available for this and let me quickly update this in GitHub and show you the effectiveness of this integration. So I'm gonna copy this code and open my GitHub account, open the folder where my code is hosted and I'm going to create a new file and call it social media share.html. I'm going to place my code and I'm going to commit this new file. Now for this commit to be associated with the user story, I would have to follow the syntax of hashtag followed by the work item ID. To get the work item ID, let me quickly navigate back to my Zoho Sprints account and 
copy the work item id from here i'm going to paste this over here and in order to associate a comment i would have to follow the syntax hashtag comment space followed by the description of the comment so here i would like to say this is done andrew and I can either associate this directly to the master branch or create a new branch and start a pull request. Let me commit directly to the master branch. Now in order to view the changes, let me reload this page. Here, I can see the comment of the new file along with the comment that I triggered from GitHub. Now, let me go back to GitHub and this time create a pull request instead. I'm going to edit the file and let's say this is for creating a pull request. I follow the same syntax and this time I would create a new branch and call it patch2 and propose the file change. Here again I would leave another comment and create this pull request. It's checking for the ability to merge. Now I've created the pull request. Now let's see if this has been reflected in my user story. So I'm going to reload this page. Navigate to GitHub. And I can see that a new pull request has been created and it is currently open. Now let me merge this pull request. I'm going back to my GitHub account and I'm going to merge this pull request and leave some comments. And I'm going to confirm the merge. And I'm all set. So this pull request has been merged and closed. Let me go back to Zoho Sprints and reload this page. And go to my pull request. And here I can see that the pull request has been merged successfully. And also the comments that I left while merging this pull request are available here. As you can see, this is a very effective integration for development teams to collaborate and be in sync with the changes that they make to their code. Now, let me demonstrate another example where along with committing changes to my file, I'm also be going to associate log hours with the user story. So let me open the other user story that I've been assigned to and I see that there's a new comment that's been left for me. Uh, so Sandra wants me to increase the height and width of the video player to 92. Yes, of course, this would definitely be possible. So I'm going to open my GitHub account and I'm going to go to my file. I'm going to open the video player and edit this file, increase the width and height to 92. And I would also have to 
copy the work item ID from Zoho Sprints. So my work item ID is ZPP1290. And while we're committing changes to this file, we're also going to log hours. So I'm going to show you the syntax for that. So the syntax would be hashtag the work item ID from Zoho Sprints. And I'm going to say hashtag time to log hours and follow the syntax of hours and minutes. I'm going to log a duration of one hour and 30 minutes. And I'm also going to add a comment by saying that the height and width of the video player is being updated to 90. And I'm going to commit this to my master branch. I'm going to go back to Zoho Sprints and I'm going to reload to see the changes. And here you could see that uh, hours have been logged, one hour, 30 minutes. I can also see the comment that I updated in the master branch along with the comment that I triggered from GitHub. Wasn't that simple? Okay, now let me walk you through uh, an advanced comment wherein I would try to update the status and priority of multiple work items. Let me go back to my board and let's say I want to update the status of these two work items from in progress to test it and I'm also going to update the priority to high. Now let me go back to GitHub. Now I'm going to edit the same file with some sample changes. Now I already have the work item ID that I copied during the previous example. Now to update, to update the priority, I'm going to use the syntax hashtag priority space high and to update the status, I'm going to say hashtag status followed by the name of the status column. So let me go back to Zoho Sprints. So here I can see that the name of the status column is tested, which is two words. So the syntax to be followed is that I separate the two words with an underscore. So I'm going to go back to GitHub and say, I'm going to type test underscore it. And I had told you that we would be doing this for multiple work items. And let me go back and see the work item ID of the previous item. So we are currently updating work item ID ending 9.0. The previous work item is ending with 8.9. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy this and change 8.9.0 to 8.9. The priority and the status remain the same. And I'm going to commit this to the master branch. Okay, now let me go back to my board and see if the changes are reflected here. Yes, so as you can see here, the work items that were previously in the in-progress state are now in the tested stage and the priority has also been updated to high. So I've been demonstrating how you can collaborate your code changes from GitHub by mentioning the work item ID and following the syntax. But what if you missed this while you were committing your files and merging pull requests? Well, don't worry, we've got you covered. You can attach your commits and pull requests 
right from within Zoho Sprints even after you've committed or merged them in GitHub or other platforms. Let me walk you through the steps. I'm going to open another work item and for the purpose of this demonstration, let me uh, show you some examples from GitLab. Here, you would be able to see an option to attach commit. So I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to choose my repository from GitLab. I'm going to choose the branch. Uh, so here I will be able to filter the commits that I want to display by the date. So let's say I want to view the commits of the last one week. And here I would be able to see a list of commits. I'm going to choose a commit and select attach. And on selecting this ID here, I would be able to see the file that I had committed. And at the same time, I can also attach my pull request to this work item. So I'm going to navigate to pull request here and click on the attach pull request button. It's the same drill. So I'm going to choose my repository. I'm going to choose my branch and I can attach pull requests that are either open, closed or merged. Uh, so let's say I want to attach a merged pull request and in the drop down, I would be able to select the pull request that I've made and I'm going to select attach and this would now be available within my user story. And the name of the pull request is hyperlinked. So if I click on the name of the pull request, I would be redirected to GitLab where I would be able to review the commits that I had merged. Now I'll quickly summarize the syntax along with the example and the functionality of the syntax. So hashtag work item represents the work item ID. Hashtag comment adds comments to the work item. Hashtag status followed by uh, the name of the status updates the status of the work item. Hashtag priority followed by the name of the priority updates the priority of the work item. Hashtag time followed by the duration in hours and minutes adds time to the work item. So we've reached the end of today's webinar and I'd like to thank all of you for joining the webinar today. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, please write to us at feedback at zohosprints.com. Thank you once again for attending the webinar. I wish you and your teams collaborate your code changes effectively and build and ship products that customers really want.